Transformers reviews, tech and the news, whatever else I use as a muse. Hit subscribe, I appreciate the views, influences, interest on YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. This is Influence, and today I have Legacy Buzzsaw. Now, I have no idea who Buzzsaw is. i assuming he's with Beast Wars, but I don't remember this character. Um... To be to totally honest with you and just my initial thoughts as you're watching the 360 is that I don't really like this figure that much. I think it's not in line with the rest of the legacy figures that I've handled. Um, there may just be a I don't know if he came out in the last wave of Kingdom and it's just a a port over, um, but it feels like it, it kind of feels like. Uh, Cheetor, uh, I think that's who it was. That transformation and all that is not, it's not the most elegant thing. <laughs> I don't know if I'm looking for it to be the most elegant thing, but I don't know how else to explain it. It's not, it's not a great transformation. It's like balled up. It, it doesn't, it, I mean, it looks like it'd be at the end of the day, but at the same time, I just think it's just, uh, I don't know. It could have been done better, I guess. <laughs> what do I know? All right, let's get get off the 360 and get into this review further. See his face sculpt. I again, I don't know if this is a great face sculpt or not because I don't know the character. Some of my main gripes though are these legs right here on the on the robot legs are very tight. They don't move out the way. They're just stuck here. They're sticking out. I would have liked them to fold in or something. Maybe back here. I mean, I know it probably would have limited articulation. It just would have made sense more for me. These aren't so bad. And from the picture, I see that he did have the arms out on his arms. Uh, so that's accurate. But these were not. So they, they probably should have moved and folded up or something. I don't know. But let's get into some comparisons. Kickback. And I haven't done a video on him yet. I'm working on it. Blaster. You see how big he is. And you got skids. So he's a small, small bot. He's just lackluster. He's lackluster. I feel lackluster when I'm fooling with him. This review is kind of lackluster because it's... It's just my enthusiasm isn't there because it's uh it's just this. And some would say, why do a review on something you don't like? But I can't do reviews on stuff I always like. I do like a lot of stuff, but I buy stuff and whatever I uh, say about it is coming from me. So that's the reason I still do the review because maybe people want to hear my uh my take. I don't know. So you have his one accessory, which is his tail, doubles as his tail and his blaster, which is nice. It's got a little point on it, like a stinger. I don't know if it can house blast effects. I assume it can. I don't have any handy. So I can't test that out. Sorry about that. And there are no other uh, accessories. So let's get into articulation. So articulation, his head moves back about that it's on a ball joint but the way his neck is it doesn't really move forward any much i mean i guess you can say this is neutral like straight ahead and then that's down if you want to say that so that's up he can move all the way around he has a clear back and it's it looks like it's for uh oh yeah it is it's for light piping so he has the light piping, but of course his eyes is dead with light piping if there's no light pipe to pipe. Uh, so yeah, light the light piping works well when it works and it has light. And you have his arms up on the shoulder about that much. His arms can go all the way around. It hits these legs all the time. He has a single jointed elbow that gets you exactly 90 degrees. And he has the bicep swivel here. He has a waist that gets you all the way around, but there's a lot of stuff to get out of the way. 
All this stuff doesn't tab on great either. Like this head thing, <laughs> the B head doesn't tab on great. I don't know if it's by design because you might want him to lift up or what. But I do know doing transformation, he lifts it up. So, uh, legs, he, and see, this doesn't tab on well. So, when you're maneuvering the legs, it falls apart on you. But you can get the legs up. The back, you can't really get up that much because of the back part, the big B ass. Uh, so you get about that much. He's not doing any hurdles no time soon. And then side to side. You to be fair, if you can get it all around these legs, that's on the legs, the B legs. Uh, you can get it all the way up. And he does do the super splits. But he has all this stuff to contend with. Knee joint. Get you 90 degrees there. He has a thigh swivel up here and his toe. He has a toe tilt. A uh, little bit toe up. His heel spurs can independently move up and down as well. And he has a rocker right there. So that's great. So let's get him into his B mode. You move this up, push that together. Move this. Well, you can move the legs down. Move this heel spurs around like this. Got that. You move the legs down, then you can spin them around like this. It's spinning right there on there. Then this goes up in here and the legs will move up. I don't want to really do it yet, but there's a peg there that goes here and I'll show it in a minute again. Um, so when you pull this, there's two pegs right here. There's a peg there, peg there. You want to kind of pull it out, pull this up and pull it out. And then you have these, this set of arms. You make that arm go all the way down in there and then you can push this up here like this now this little see this little peg right here and pegging right there you can see that little peg hole so push that down here like that and get that pegged in to here so it covers up the face and all of that. You want to fool with these arms. So the arms move in. And however you can get them. So the joint moves the arms down. That's how you do it. But then you want you want these tabs in. And you want the hands like this. So once you get that in. And of course the arms are supposed to be out. So once you get this in. It should move up here. If you have this right. And there's a peg right here. There's a peg hole right there that that pegs into. So you move that up and peg it in if it goes in. There we go. This over here the same way. Move that in. Move it down. Move the arm so the B legs are out. And then pull the, move the hand this way. I think you just got to move the hand just because it just makes it uh, look better. So you can't see the open hand. So you had it like that. So you create like a peg across. That's important to the next step. Because now you want to fool with these legs. Like I said earlier, you want to push this up in here like this. And it's kind of tight. So you try to get it. There you go. And then this leg folds up and these legs kind of, I say kind of, cause they're like really, uh, it's really like a suggestion. There's a peg here that pegs over on this side and it's like an over under peg and you have it like that. So it kind of gives it a, a you know, kind of pegs in, 
but then you're moving this up here and the two forks there's there's forks right there and it's on the other side they peg around the arm pegs that you just you know that just basically able to be there and again it's not a great connection at all so all this stuff would just start falling apart and then you want to make sure this is right because it's supposed to be up in there like that because it creates the body so if you have that right and you have this where it's supposed to peg the body will automatically uh fall in line where it's supposed to be then you take the blaster and you finish the body off so i think that's a nice touch you fix these wings how you need to fix them and you can move the legs where you need them to be to make the b there you go you have the b which is not it's not bad it's is you know it looks like a b you got these things that move. See his face? It's kind of weird. You know, bugs uh, bugs weird me out up close. So it does look like a bee up close. You have all this stuff. Um, I'm not sure. This may go up like this, I believe. I couldn't tell in the directions. But I'm not sure if it goes like that or if it stays down. But any respect, I kind of like it down better. And you see, as you manipulate it, if you manipulate it, it's going to come out. I don't know. I kind of like it down. It gives it a little extra. I see articulation, I guess. If you can call it that. You got the mouth here. You got the head that goes up and down. Kind of like that. You got these wings that you can uh, situate any which way you want. These legs don't really move. They do move. They, these ones on the arms move a lot better because they're like pegs. Uh, these are mushroom pegs, so they come out when you move them. They'll come out for sure. Oh, yeah, that's it. There we go. Like I said, it looks like a B. I kind of like it in this mode better than the robot mode, even though stuff doesn't stay together either way. And to go back, super simple. Pull this down. You want to try to pull this out. It does take some doing because it is tight. This is probably the tightest connection on the whole road, on the whole thing. Like not just robot, but alt mode. It's an alt mode connection, but it's tight. So there you go. You get that and you spin that around like that. You can take this out to get ready. Now you can fool with this stuff up here. Just pull this out, move this to the side, move this to the side, move this down here like this, then move that there. These pegs right here, you want to peg in the back here. Like this. And then you split this. Then I'll just leave it like that because then you can push this up here. And this peg goes here. It's not a great connection, but that's what it does. Um, then you can move this down here and again, not the greatest connection, but it is what it is. Then you just situate these arms, get this hand right, situate these arms and get this hand right. You know, you want these B legs on the outside and you can flip the heel spurs back. Then situate the wings however you want. Put them down, put them all together in the back and 
got his gun here. So this has been Buzzsaw, which is Beast Wars Buzzsaw, but it's Legacy Buzzsaw. So it's part of the Legacy release releases, I guess. So thanks for watching this review and I will get up with you in another video.